All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Nothing really surprises me with the internet anymore. I mean, I, I could have predicted this if you asked me. I knew this was only going to be a matter of time. But um, some smarty pants with a PhD has come out on Twitter.com and said that dumb is an ableist word and uh, the average individual shouldn't be allowed to say it. Now listen, I think the word dumb is pretty much in like everyone's vocabulary. It's not really considered like a swear word or a bad word at all. People just kind of say it whenever someone does something stupid or dumb, you know? I mean, in my videos alone, I call a lot of people dumb and when I personally say it, uh, I mean that they said something stupid or unintelligent, right? Kind of like what this person said in this video, and I feel like it's kind of dumb. Now, am I referring to a condition of some sort? No, not really. I don't really know why this person is taking it that way. It's It seems kind of stupid, considering that, you know, words can have multiple meanings in the English language. I feel like people just kind of forget that. They just kind of stick to this one definition, and any other definition of the word is somehow bad now. And by the way, I wasn't kidding at the start of the video, this person has a PhD. 10 years in college, and this is what it taught you, huh? Okay, so pretty much, let's just go over what was happening and why exactly this was trending. So essentially this person says that reminder that uh, dumb is an ableist term. I love how it's like a reminder, right? Like you get up every day, 6 a.m. in the morning, you just gotta hit that bell. Reminder guys, dumb is an ableist word. Please try to not use it this day. Imagine instead of waking up to the goddamn iPhone alarm, you wake up to this shit, dude. Dumb is an ableist term. Listen, I think some people are getting it wrong, like as if it's like a malicious insult, bro. I call my Myself dumb. I call people around me dumb. I call everybody dumb, bro. Dumb is a fun word to say. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay, whatever. I'm getting sidetracked. Reminder that dumb is an ableist term. Remove it from your vocabulary immediately or you'll get 12 years in prison. You mean something else, not the inability to physically speak, which many of our fellow humans struggle with valiantly. They are not unintelligent for it. Okay, Mrs. PhD Twitter woman. Okay, so you're telling me that that I mean something else when I say the word dumb. So let me let me do what a sane individual will do before tweeting out something like this, is actually Google the definition of the word dumb. Now there's a couple of definitions as it is for all of the words. Now this is the offensive one apparently, unable to speak, most typically because of congenital deafness. But also here we have informal, North American, stupid. A dumb question. I'm pretty sure teachers casually say the word in school, right? There are no dumb questions. By the way, that's a complete lie. There are many dumb questions. <laughs> so as you can see, there's literally like four definitions, okay? And there's probably more. This is just how the English language works. And you know, when you use a word a certain way a bunch of times, sometimes the definition of it even changes, you know? I mean, I've given this example a thousand times, but the word literally no longer means literally, okay? It means literally and not literally. Because people were like, it's literally 70 degrees Celsius, I'm burning, when it's not actually literally 70 degrees Celsius. So yeah, you know, words change meaning. Now initially the word may have meant this condition, but because of people saying it a lot, it might have changed to this, or maybe it's it, it always meant both of them, we, we don't know. But yeah, you actually getting offended on the behalf of other people is just a classic Twitter mentality, bro. Stop policing words, really. So she continues saying, I deleted this tweet because someone called me in on how unintelligent can, <laughs> can also be ableist. Like all insults of intelligence, it reinforces system systemic bias and stigmatizes marginalized groups. Fellas, have you ever said the word unintelligent? I just kind of say stupid, but even if I were to say the word unintelligent as I am saying right now, I don't think it reinforces systemic bias, okay? This just seems like an excuse to not call people stupid, man. And if we can't call people stupid, the entire Pegasus channel will cease to exist, man. Come on. You are literally taking away my livelihood right now, bro. Come on. But I love how she got completely owned at her own game like she's calling out these people saying that dumb is offensive and then somebody said unintelligent is offensive and then she deleted the tweet oh my god dude she's actually so far gone that she didn't realize that people are just literally trolling her i don't think anybody thinks that the word unintelligent is ableist okay by the way if you guys are confused and don't know what ableist means according to the definition 
ableism is discrimination and social prejudice against people with disabilities and or people who are perceived to be disabled. So yeah, if you've ever called someone dumb or intelligent, you are discriminating against them. Now people are taking this like five steps further just to mess with her. And you know, the thing is, she legitimately can't tell if these are trolls or not, okay? So this person says... <laughs> <laughs> Please don't use the extremely harmful term marginalized groups as it privileges other groups by suggesting that their perspective and experience is at the center. The correct term is... <laughs> This is absolutely great. I love this. The correct term is groups further from the center to describe people not sufficiently far from being located at the margin. I'm going to give it about 15 minutes. She's probably going to delete the tweet as well. And then again, change marginalized groups to groups further from the center. Like these people are a bottomless pit. So here we have a poor victim and a confused individual. I love your work and your tweets, but I don't get this at all. Sorry, what word do we use instead? And how how far do we go with tying ourselves up in knots over language? And is it actually making anyone's life any better other than setting the scene for a damaging backlash? I think this person pointed out something that pretty much 90% of the Twitter population doesn't get. Is it actually making anyone's life any better? The fact that you're no longer saying the word dumb? I highly doubt it. Even if there's some dude out there in the world who prefers that you not say the word dumb, honestly, screw them, bro. Grow a thicker skin. Like, literally, everybody calls this. Nobody's targeting you. Nobody's making you the victim of anything. God damn it. Get over it. As someone with a developmental disability, I truly do not find this kind of hair splitting and hyper litigation of common language helpful. It can be contextually hurtful to people with DDs, etc. I mean, imagine somebody who actually just genuinely struggles with the English language and then you introduce like 500 more rules. It's hard enough as it is trying to walk on these eggshells on the internet and then you keep introducing more and more rules and these rules are like encroaching on our regular vocabulary, bro. Honestly, if you want to take away a, a beloved word from me, you better give me an equally potent word otherwise. I don't think that any other word has the same potency and awesomeness is the word dumb, okay? When I see a specimen, when I see a, a, a Jake Paul, I need to call him dumb, bro. There's no other word that fit. Okay, there's actually a couple words I can think of, but uh, they might be even more offensive, okay? Never mind. Please stop policing words. It further marginalized non-native speakers and those with language impairment or learning disability who may have limited vocabulary and so lack your privilege to substitute a more acceptable synonym. Canceling common words is elitist and harmful. You know, now we're getting to the point where I can't even tell if this is satire or not, you know? I mean, it kind of makes sense, but it's said in the same tone as the people trying to cancel these words. Canceling words is elitist and harmful. It probably is, to be honest. Also, I feel like they're completely right. Like, the average individual, they could probably, you know, uh, exchange the word dumb for something else. I don't know. I don't know if stupid is acceptable, but I'm pretty sure that word has been canceled as well, okay? And you try to replace it with something else. Unintelligent. Okay, that word has also been canceled. Now, me uh, as an ooga booga caveman what am i supposed to replace the word dumb with okay i only know like three synonyms and you've taken all of them away what the hell do i have left do i just have to go around complimenting people now like that's that's not my style fam i mean honestly at this point are we really surprised with the state of the internet bro every other month or something one of these psychos comes out and they always have these like you know super big credentials to back them up so nobody can you know essentially we call them like unintelligent or something somebody's walking around with the phd now me personally i'd happily call them dumb stupid or without whatever the heck because i don't value your goddamn degree but m mostly the average individual is gonna be like oh my god you're so smart you've been through eight years of school sitting in your goddamn seat I'm sure the average individual with the phd is probably more uh, hardworking and i don't know Man, maybe intelligent in some sense than a person without a PhD, at least in their field of study, probably not in the general sense, but in their field of study, obviously. But I feel like her degree is completely unrelated to what's happening right now, right? I mean, if you're a goddamn nuclear scientist, I mean, sure, good job, whatever, I don't know what you're doing, maybe you're helping the world, whatever. But don't try to police the English language, bro. You're way out of your depth here. Even if you have an English degree, this is just stupid, bro. Some things we can just kind of see and we're like, hey, 
Mm, kind of. Mm, mm. Now, knowing my channel and knowing my audience, I'm pretty sure I know which word is going to be spammed in this comment section because, in general, people do not like being told what to do. Kind of like me, exact same personality. You guys are probably just going to spam the word dumb in the comment section, and I don't blame you to be honest. At this point, most of the internet is just kind of tired, you know? I feel like this meme. This meme really suits it, dude. I'm just like the tiredest I've ever been in my entire life. Just leave. Leave people alone, goddammit. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably gonna be a short video. I don't really have anything more to say. Hope you guys did enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please feel free to use the word dumb. Obviously, if you're using it maliciously and, and targeting it at people with disabilities, obviously you're just an asshole. But if you're using it casually like you always do and it's completely lighthearted and it doesn't mean anything, feel free to use it, okay? I don't, I'm, not, I'm not gonna bend to these absolute losers. Anyways, that's it. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.